Hi, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create custom hooks and reuse your components logic. Let's imagine that we have login and registration form components. And both of these components have code for initializing the values of the input fields. And at the same time, both of these components have code for handling input changes. So for every single form element, we have a value initializer and a function that updates the value. So instead of duplicating all of this code, we can extract it to a custom hook. And then all we have to do is to call this custom hook from every place that we need this logic. So let's see how we can implement this. Code with Sloba. Let's see this very common use case scenario. In my app component, I have this very simple username input field. And at the bottom, we're just rendering hello username. So as we type a username in an input field, we're updating this hello string. So in order to implement this, I created this use state hook and I created this function handler username change. Then in the return statement, I just pass in the value of the username and on change event, I'm just passing to this handle username change function. And on the bottom here, we have a paragraph where we just say hello username and that's all. Now let's say that we want to add additional field where user can enter his age. So how we would do that is we would need to duplicate this use state hook and we would say age and set age. And then we would need to duplicate this function handle username change, but we would rename it to handle age and then use this set age function. And then again, we can duplicate this paragraph on the bottom. And instead of the username, we say age. And for the value, we say age. And for the on change event handler, we can say handle age. And let's update our string to say username is age years old, like so. Now let's save it. And for the initial value, we can type in 25. And now we can change the age as well. 56, let's say. Bob is 56 years old. Now this works as expected, obviously. But as you can see, in order to create the second input field, we had to do a lot of duplication. Now, imagine that you have five or 10 input fields. It would make much more sense to extract this logic in a separate function or a custom hook in this case. So let's do exactly that. So inside of our source folder, let's create a new file and let's name this file as useFormInput.js. Whenever you're creating a custom hook, you need to follow this naming pattern. So you use use keyword for the beginning, then uppercase, and then for the rest of the name, it's just camel case, form input, like we used here. So now let's create our custom hook. Custom hooks are just a functions. So let's create export function use form input. And here we need to get initial value because when we are initializing the state for our inputs here we are passing in some initial value to handle the state we're going to use use state hook as well use state hook so let's import it on the top so now let's say const value and set value to handle the state of our input fields. And let's just initialize our use state hook with the initial value that we get once this custom hook has been initialized. And now apart from this use state hook, what we did is we created a handler function for both of these input fields. So let's create a function and let's name it handle change. And we get event inside of this function. And what we are doing is we are just setting the value 
from event target dot value like so and now all we need to do is to return this value so here we are returning an object and inside of this object we need to provide as you can see here value and on change event so for value we use the value from this use state hook and for the on change we use this handle change function that we created like so now let's save this and now we can import our use form input hook inside of our app file so import use form input hook and now let's clean up our app function so let me remove all of this code and let's create a new variable let's name this one as username and let's call our use form input custom hook for the initial value let's set to Bob and now let's create this another variable and let's name it age again let's use use form input and for the initial value let's set it to 25 and let's just update the names of these two variables to make more sense as we are not only returning the values for these input fields but we are also returning an on change handlers so let's name them as username props and age props and now we can clean up our input fields so let's remove the value and on change handler event and we just need to destructure what we are getting from this username props and same for this age input field as well so just restructure what we are getting from our custom hook for this one is age props and we also need to update the value the final values so here username props dot value and age props dot value now we can save this and as you can see this is working exactly the same as on previous case but now we have much more readable component and we are reusing this logic in this file and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that i'm doing feel free to check out patreon.com code with sloba to get full access see you there well that's all for this react video and thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe code with sloba thank you for watching the entire video to see more react tutorials click here